Hey guys, welcome back to another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. Olivia here at the Olivia's Romantic Home, and in today's video, I am over the moon excited to share with you some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget friendly decor crafts. So, recently I popped over to London and participated in my sister's wedding and celebrated and just had an amazing time. But let me tell you, when I say that there is no place like home sweet home, I'm so happy to be back with you guys crafting and decorating for the season. You guys know I love fall and Christmas, so if you love that definitely go pop over to some more of my videos catch up subscribe to this youtube channel punch that bell and click all it will notify you every time i post a new video and subscribing is totally free also if you guys love a daily crafting inspiration pop over to my livius romantic home facebook page i do a ton of diys over there as well as i have a free little group page for you guys to participate in and it's just for a fun friendly time and to post photos of your home decor and diy projects so i have some really fun projects for today's video i can't wait to get started. Hopefully they're going to be easy and they're going to inspire you guys. Now always remember too, for your home decor, whatever colors you love, change it up, mix it up, and make it your own. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get crafty. First at Dollar Tree DIY, I am so excited to share with you guys a Jenga block pumpkin. Okay, so you're going to need eight of the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks, and you're going to use three to start out with. So you're going to take one and glue it sideways and and then glue it to the center block here and you're going to turn that center block the opposite direction of the first block i hope that makes sense and then you're going to add a double of hot glue to the other side and then pop that in so it's kind of making like this little t formation i guess that's what you might call it and then you're going to do the exact same thing for the next block so you're going to take a run a line of glue down it and then glue it to this one little spot here on the opposite block turn the opposite direction and then <laughs> glue another one again to make that cute little t right there and then you're gonna have two sets of those and then you're going to glue the second block kind of a little bit like halfway out from the little t on the inside point i hope that makes sense um hopefully you guys can just kind of follow what i'm doing here but basically you're just going to glue a block on either side of it and then that's going to form your little pumpkin bumpkin and then you guys can also, if you want to, you can add one more Jenga block down into the center. So I did that for mine, but I first I started painting them and I realized, hey, a Jenga block's gonna fit down into the center of this. I did just use some orange apple barrel craft paint from Walmart. In fact, I ran out. So before this pumpkin spice season is over, I'm definitely gonna be needing to go grab some more. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and paint this. And then again, I do glue another block into the center. Now I will tell you for this stem, you can get really creative with this. You can pop out into your yard and grab some little wooden stems or whatnot. And here I made two of them and you can see I glued another block into the center of that. And listen, I don't think all the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks are exactly shaped the same, unless I did something wrong with this DIY, but they didn't quite all fit flush against each other. If that drives you crazy, just cover it with a cute little bow. I also had some of these pretty creative colors um, with some of the aquas, which they're showing out a lot in the home decor stores. So I did use some aqua and then just some um, Waverly antique wax. I swear you guys, I've been using the same wax for almost my whole DIY career on YouTube. Um, so a little bit goes a long way and I'm just using the little Dollar Tree cubes. Um, they come in the crafter square and there's a ton of them in a packet and that's going to be my little pumpkin stem. I honestly, it's still about 90 degrees out and I just did not want to pop out and look around in the yard for, um, you know, real wood. So I'm also taking some raffia and I'm going to tie that off in the center and then add that to the top part of my pumpkin just to give it like a little decor and embellishment. And honestly, so we've been on vacation and my little puppy dog, Benji Bear, he had to stay behind. He was actually at what they call um, a camp, a little camp out for puppy dogs. And um, anyway, he's just been feeling like he really needs extra cuddles. So I tried to stay inside with him as much as I could today and I just give him loads of cuddles. But here's how my little pumpkin turned out. So fun and fabulous. And I did use just like a little bit of wood stain around um, the painted part and that just kind of gave it a little bit of a rustic flair, which you guys can always use. Oh gosh, pretty much anything that you love as far as pumpkin, as far as pumpkin colors are concerned. And I also added it to this three tier tray. For the next at Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take these cute little pumpkin latte cups or 
I'm making them into pumpkin latte cups. So basically they're the little wooden cutouts from Dollar Tree. I was so excited to find these. I wanted to paint each and every single one and make them all pumpkin. But listen, I'm thinking these would be fun to hold over some of these till Christmas. But there's about six to a pack, I believe. And I'm just using this cute little apple barrel craft paint. You guys know I love to do a good morning cup of coffee with you every morning on my stories and share my little Dollar Tree prayer card. And so I'm just using this kind of mint color to create like a little um, latte kind of idea. So I'm painting this and then a sweet dear friend of mine sent me the cutest little stickers I'm going to use at the end. So I did my first layer on the cup and I did front and back for that. And then I'm just going to use a tiny bit of white for the whipped cream part at the top. Actually, I do have a little touch of whipped cream on my coffee every single morning. And I also like to make Benji Bear some little pup cups. And Benji Bear is my puppy dog. He likes to have a little whipped cream too. We're both kind of a little bit spoiled, but it's my favorite treat of the day. And so I'm just adding that whipped cream because, hey, you only live once, right, guys? <laughs> and also, I wanted to let you guys know that, hey, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. I would love to have you guys over here. And I'm also doing some giveaways. So make sure you're listening for that secret question throughout this video. Now, I'm going to add in a little bit of that uh, Waverly Antique Wax. And that is going to be my brown. Although the, I, the Antique Wax may have done better better on another project and maybe not so much this I could have grabbed some brown paint but this was already out so this is what I'm using and I did end up kind of blending that on into a little bit of um, my whipped cream there so now I'm going to just add this cute little um, pumpkin leopard oh, this is just the cutest little sticker okay so for the next one listen as you guys can see i ran out of my orange paint so i'm gonna have to pop into the craft store or to walmart for some more orange paint so i don't think i can finish out this pumpkin latte season without some but i'm gonna paint this little cup as well in the same fashion with yellow paint adding that good whipped cream to the top and then my little coffee flavor and just think about how fun these are also going to be for christmas oh my goodness you guys i'm so excited for this fall and christmas season how my little cute little uh, pumpkin latte cups turned out. I just add a little sticker to the center and comment down below and let me know what I should use in the little top part where that hole is for you to make a garland. Um, I just never know sometimes quite what to use there. I just left it open but I think they look really cute and I think they're gonna be really fun to pop into my little coffee bar three tiered tray. Tree DIY. I want to show you guys how to make a fun little shelf sitter pumpkin. So you're going to take one of the little pumpkin wood at wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to Mod Podge mine with some of this cute little um, Mackenzie Childs inspired um, paper. You guys can also use pretty much any paper that you love and that will match your fall decor. I also think some orange and white check would be adorable. And hey, you guys can also Mod Podge fabric onto the front of this. So anyway, I'm just going to trim off the little pieces around my cute little pumpkin. We're going to make this into kind of a shelf sitter or something that you could set on a three-tiered tray without it flopping over. And you're going to need a six Dollar Tree Jenga blocks as well. And I'm going to tell you guys, I get so much on my scissors. I just need to have a scissors cleaning day or a craft cleaning supplies day. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys are there with me and what your best tips are for cleaning your craft scissors. These are such great scissors, but I've gotten some kind of goo on them and they're not quite working as they should. So the next step is to take a three Jenga blocks and hot glue them together end to end and the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks can be a little misshapen, so try not to get frustrated if you are doing this project. But I'm going to take next and I'm going to use some Waverly Antique Wax and I'm just going to give this kind of like a stained look. You could paint this any color that you love. And also think about this, you guys can do a shelf sitter with any of the wood cutouts that Dollar Tree has. So they have all different kinds of wood cutouts. They have leaves, you could add a little um, 
clothespin to the top of this and put like a cute little back to school picture on here. And I'm always thinking of ways, you know, that you could use these with multi-purpose. So I'm just going to hot glue it on either side and then pop that in between those Jenga blocks and bam, you have a cute little shelf sitter for next to nothing. And these Dollar Tree Jenga blocks are gonna go a, a long way. Next, I'm taking some of this little Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. I'm going to just pinch the center of the ribbon together and then tie it off with some of this baker's twine. I also found this at Dollar Tree, I believe, as well. I've had this for a while, so I might be, it might be a craft store find. Anyway, I tied a cute little bow and then added that to the center of my little burlap bow, and voila, we have a fabulous little cute uh, three-tiered tray shelf sitter, or you could set this on a shelf or your mantle for so much less expensive than you would have to pay at like a TJ Maxx or craft store. It's fun, crafty, easy to do, get your kids involved. So fun and fabulous on a total budget. DIY. I'm going to take this sparkly little vase. I found it on Clarence Hobby Lobby last year after Christmas. I hot glued some little Dollar Tree styrofoam and then um, to the bottom of the inside of the container and then I'm taking some of this sparkly ribbon from the Dollar Tree. The orange sparkle ribbon is so cute. I'm actually going to make this for my bedroom. I have I had these in my bedroom last season for Christmas and I just haven't changed them out really and I'm going to take these Dollar Tree pre-made bows. I just wanted to show you guys an idea for these pre-made bows. Sometimes I grab things and I'm not sure what to use them with, but this is such an easy project. The next thing I'm doing is taking some of these cute little kind of pre-made bouquets you can find at Hobby Lobby, and they do have all their fall right now, 40% off, so it's a great deal, and you just pop two bouquets in, and bam, you have a fabulous floral arrangement on a total budget, and I do want to make them similar because my end tables or my nightstands are also you know, matching. So I kind of want to do matchy matchy, which is probably a little bit corny, but I think it's fun. It's going to work perfectly for my bedroom. And I'll probably maybe put these on the bottom shelf if I don't have room on the top part of my nightstand um, and then put like a cute little pumpkin next to it. But again, this is such an easy hack for a floral arrangement. Just, you know, pop a bow on, pop some foam in there and use these pre-made bouquets. Now the pre-made bouquets do cost, you know, a couple bucks more, but sometimes they're well worth it. If you're in a hurry and you want something easy, these would also be a great bridal table idea. And again, I did get the sparkly containers from Hobby Lobby. They were 90% off, I believe. So always check your end of season clearance section and just think how you can use them multi-purpose. So getting them in the sparkly gold, yeah, it's a little Christmassy, but adding these fall bows to the front that kind of covers, you know, the Christmassy aspect of it, I think makes it work. And then last but not least, I'm gonna finish it off with some of these Dollar Tree pumpkin picks. I thought that would be fun to pop into there. I may change them out if I don't care for them. I just thought it would be a fun little fall touch. Now I'm showing them displayed and with all of the DIYs I did in this particular video. But again, these are going to be going into my bedroom and I am going to be decorating my bedroom for the first time this fall. So I'm super excited about that. I want to put like a pretty garland over the top of my headboard. I'm trying to find one that doesn't shed because I don't want leaves falling in my hair at night. Um, and then I want to add some lights to that as well. I've seen so many people recently just decorating their bedrooms and putting like a cozy blanket and pillow. And I just thought that would be such a fun touch for this fall season. I actually want to share with you guys how I'm using these little scrap pieces of wood. They're left over from um, my back patio project from last summer, but I am just going to take and hot glue all three of them together. They were originally like little um, slats for the railing to keep Bitty Bear inside. Bitty Bear is my puppy dog, so I just um, made four of them. I was thinking I was going to spell out fall, but I ran out of time to find the lettering for it. So I may go back and add lettering to the front of these. So that's another idea. I'm painting them different colors because I thought that would just be a fun thing to let my eye dance over. So I chose yellow and orange, some greens, and then a quick little aqua. Um, the yellow is a little bit bright for fall, I kind of feel like, but 
know, since I ran out of orange, I kind of have to make do. I do love this pretty muted green though. I think it's so soft and a nice cozy vibe. And you guys could also paint these cream. That would be another idea if you're doing shabby chic decor. And if you love pink pumpkins or purple pumpkins, go for it, you guys. Now I'm going to make this stem and I'm going to use the little Dollar Tree wooden cube blocks. I'm going to hot glue four of them together and then stain them with the Antique Waverly Wax stain. And I will tell you to um, leave a spot at the bottom without the wax because once you apply the wax, it makes it really hard for the hot glue to stick. That's what's been going on with mine anyway. So just leave that bottom side unstained that you're going to be hot gluing to the top of your pumpkin. I'm also taking this Dollar Tree sponge brush and I'm just going to sponge some of that wax onto the front of them. I think these turned out so adorable. I've always wanted to do some wooden pumpkins and I've never really taken the time to, so this is the perfect opportunity. Now I'm going to take and make this cute little bow. So I just took a piece of burlap ribbon and I'm tying the center of it. So you just make like a cute little bow tie. You take the ribbon, you just squinch it together and then add some jute twine to the center. Hot glue that to the little top part of your pumpkin and bam, you have such a festive little creation. I also had this cute little orange and um, burlap colored ribbon from Dollar Tree. I wish I would have stocked up on more because I'm already out of it. I've been doing a lot of fun projects with this, but it's so cute and I love the checkered aspect of it. Maybe I'll check back at Dollar Tree. I seriously doubt that they have any more, but maybe I might be able to also find some at Hobby Lobby. I don't know, but I'm adding that to the center part of my little pumpkins and I really had to tie really tiny bows and these are just bows like you would tie a shoelace with. Um, but here is how they turned out. I think they look so cute in this three-tiered tray. So easy to do on a total budget. Just pop out and grab some scrap wood. Or sometimes you can even go into your local um, hardware store and ask them about some scrap wood. And then if you don't, if you are doing the Jenga block pumpkin project that I did earlier in this video, you guys could also just gl hot glue several little jingle Jenga blocks together and make some mini pumpkins that are just like this. So I try to think of ideas to make things versatile and totally budget friendly for you guys. I hope you're loving this one. And and are inspired to create some cute little rustic wooden pumpkins. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how to jazz up some of those little Dollar Tree fall witches brooms, or maybe they're just fall brooms. Um, they come in a three pack at the Dollar Tree, and I think these would actually be really fun to use on a fall Christmas tree if you guys were going to be doing that or you can use these really pretty much anywhere in your decor. So I'm taking two little pieces of that jute um, ribbon and I cut the orange piece a little bit smaller than the burlap colored one and I'm just going to squinch it together and tie it off in the center. So this is just kind of like a little bow cheat hack that you guys can use to make a bow. So you just take the ribbon, squinch it together, tie it off in the center and you have like a cute little bow tie bow. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the front of my broom. I wanted to soften this up. I'm not quite ready for all the, you know, full Halloween decor. So I thought we would make it like a shabby chic broom. I'm using some of the Dollar Tree lace and just tying an easy little shoelace bow. So a shoelace bow is like a bow you would be um, using to tie your shoelaces with. And then I'm going to trim that off and hot glue that into the center of my little broom. And then really you guys can add any little trimmings that you love to kind of make it jazzy, a cute little jewel in the center, a pearl, um, any little doodly dad earring or bobble, or you could just add the bow and call it good. But there are so many options for these. And I think these would be really cute too if you're having like a little fall party. Now Dollar Tree also is carrying the best stickers right now. This actually came from a friend of mine. Thank you, Stacy, for all of the sweet goodies that you send me. So I'm just hot gluing this little pumpkin into the center of my broom. And voila, I have this total little cute little broom. It's kind of like an ornament. And speaking of ornaments, you guys could even make these into Christmas ornaments if you wanted to. Um, they come on a three pack if you had a little Etsy shop or again, just wanted some cute little gifts to give out at a party that would be fun as well. So as always, I ask that you guys comment down below and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating. 
And I also have some, something to share with you guys. Okay, so I have been on the hunt for pumpkin spice pretty much everything. I know Starbucks is putting out their pumpkin spice latte right now. And I also popped into Target and found um, some of their like pumpkin flavored fall goodies. So the secret question for this video is where's your favorite place to go to find pumpkin spice goodies? So check this out at Target. I found the pumpkin spice latte creamer Starbucks and then these pumpkin Pillsbury sugar dough cookies. Oh, I know these are gonna be delicious and check this out grand's pumpkin spice rolls. So you guys have to let me know what your favorite pumpkin spice goodies or favorite fall candies. And then of course we have Benji Bear. He wants to share with you guys his back to school new toy he got from mom since sis um, went back to school and he's kind of missing everybody. So he got some little back to school toys and he is loving this one, although it rolls underneath the couch and then he kind of has a fit because he can't fit underneath this couch very well. And it's just kind of funny. So he really loves to play. So say hi to Benji Bear and roof roof to all of Benji Bear's puppy dog fans. I know love to watch him at the end of my videos. So I love y'all. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. I'm giving away that $100 Hobby Lobby gift card on my um, social medias. So check for that. I love y'all and I'll talk to you soon. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Listen, you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for all of you that come back and join me on this crafting and decorating adventure, thank you guys so much. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. I'm encouraging you guys to keep up the good work crafting and decorating no matter where you're at give yourself some grace because listen I have as many flop outs with my crafting and decorating as you guys do um, but as you practice you'll get a little bit better every single time so thank you guys again I love y'all to the man back I can't wait for the season of fall crafting and decorating and then we have Christmas around the corner and I love y'all keep putting one foot in front of the other no matter where you're at and until our next video remember be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another I'll talk to you guys very soon Bye-bye.